Hey guys, this is Foolish Mortal 42 uh, back with some more Mass Effect uh, 1. And we just um, finished talking to uh, quite a few people. And uh, of course, these uh, the first couple episodes of Mass Effect, it, there's a lot of information dumped. <laughs> uh, it's still fun running around the Citadel though. But uh, <clears throat> so now we're going to run down to Korra's Den. And if you do this earlier, uh, before you get Garrus, you can actually have a conversation with uh, Officer Harkin, who is um, had some issues, <laughs> got fired. Uh, and if you do it really early, uh, there's a little firefight right here. Um, but if you do it the way that I did, and go grab these two guys, um, <clears throat> you go straight into... Uh, like the end run. This knows we're coming. Look out! And it has been um, been a little while since I've played, <laughs> so if my uh, controls are, so I'll show you how uh, assassination works. <clears throat> so it increases the heat, um, but it makes the um, <clears throat> the aim instead of all wobbly. It uh, um, go get up there. <clears throat> it makes it like really steady. Enemy is everywhere. Is it just me or are there are a lot of bald guys here? Ooh, those Krogan are tough. Locked and loaded. If you'll notice down there on the uh oh. On the little mini map, there's some uh, um, exclamation points. Um, those are for quests that we will uh, have to come back and do. Oh. Stop right there! Don't come any closer. Warehouse work. All the real guards must be dead. <laughs> Stay back, or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. <laughs> it would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. <clears throat> That's true, but it is uh, usually a lot more fun. There we go. Don't kill me, I surrender. <laughs> Where's the Quarian? She's not here. Right I don't to know the where point. she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. <laughs> wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian Isn't that the same thing? Deal with the shadow broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, 
It'll be Saren's men waiting for. <sighs> Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Um, so you can get some uh, Paragon Renegade points here. Uh, he was, he was. A lot gone, of people though. died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. So here's the tricky part. And I'm going to do a safety save. <clears throat> because this uh, next little thing, all of the guards respawn for reasons. I'm on it! I will destroy you! Nope. Yeah, that thing hits hard, but it's... <clears throat> Whoa! Oh gosh. Oh, I forgot how to charge X. Oh, there we go. Hey, <laughs> sorry. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Oh, these handsy uh, Turians. Oh, you overloaded me. <clears throat> yes, I'm terrible. It's this okay. set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. <clears throat> now, Gears. You should have said, let's take her You're to see sick making my life anyway. easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? No mention of the other two aliens that I've picked up. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Talizora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. 
It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. <laughs> I tracked a patrol I love of Geth the, uh, to an voice actor world. For I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. Oh, the Anderson. Right. We need just to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Yay! Uh, so, normally if you play a soldier, uh, you're gonna have Tally in your group constantly. Uh, but I think I'm gonna bring these two guys for now. Um, Even though I do like, I like those guys, but anyway. Yay! Oh, still no more charm points. Oh. Let's see. So the more points you put in the sniper, like you get um, less sway in the, uh, in the, um, <clears throat> targeting section. Mm. He's not really all that uh, useful other than first aid, so...
and she's going to be really easy to uh, to fill out because basically we're going to max out assault rifles for her, combat armor, assault training, and soldier, and that's pretty much going to be it, I think. So. <clears throat> So it's the same. All right. <clears throat> now I think the uh, yeah, it's just uh, a little flag that's uh, kind of stuck in that. Um, way to go, Caden. Um, uh, a, a mission flag that uh, while you're doing that uh, the other quest that it, it prevents you from uh, seeing him excuse me commander oh. shepherd could you spare a moment of your time commander shepherd my name is samesh patia forgive the intrusion but i have nowhere else to turn it's no trouble what can i do for you my wife was a marine she was in the 212 on eden prime wait the 212 your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Narali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay, now this, uh, <clears throat> this little side mission can be resolved in a couple of different ways. I think you can get Paragon and Renegade points for doing both of them, actually. This place seems strange. Wish we were more Here we go. Around. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife, Nirali. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully. Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. So you can, uh, um... How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. So you can go on and uh, side with uh, Samesh and demand that he uh, release the body now. <clears throat> you got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. I'll tell Mr. Bhatti about this. It might make it easier for him to understand. Thank you, I appreciate that. Please let me know if you have any other questions. So I'm actually going to side with the military on that. Um, I think that's actually, uh, you do more good for more people. Uh, and of course, when you sign up for the military, there's certain uh, obligations, I guess. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosco? Will he return my wife's body? Tell me again what you've been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. 
And this is how they repay her. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. She died a hero, Mr. Bacha. And now she has a chance to save even more lives. It doesn't matter. She's dead! Yes, <laughs> she is, Mr. Bhatia. She died fighting for what she believed in. She sacrificed her life to keep you safe. I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank yeah, you for it's still sad. The answers. But at least he's got some closure, so. Uh, so we're just going to go on up to um, Citadel Tower. A little turned around there. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think uh, that's a little bit of a stretch. But... bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. Mm. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull! Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. So pretty much the Asari runs the council. Commander Shepard, step forward. Ooh. Goosebumps. 
literally the first time I played this, I got goosebumps. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Ooh. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Not even a thank you from the ambassador. <laughs> Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Yay. And we got another level up. So now we've got... <clears throat> Uh, Spectre training, uh, which actually I probably should have saved a couple of points to grab unity. <clears throat> That's our uh, in combat um, resuscitation. So we'll go on and slap some points in there. I don't think I can uh, get this mission yet. No, I'm waiting to speak. Oh, maybe I can. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm going to stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. Okay, so now we can I'll start... i the uh, on where my team was last seen to your ships. <clears throat> oh, I already got that one. Um, start picking up you know, uh, space missions. So. And then there's... Another one down here. I'm on a break. <laughs> Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. 
I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot of... Uh... Um, oh, uh, I did get some more charm options. Actually, I got two free ones. <clears throat> I think that's, uh, well, I'm not really for sure how that happened. That is the wrong way. Uh, and actually, that's about 30 minutes, so I'm going to, uh... I like it. Found it very soon. <laughs> yes. Uh, gonna go on and pause or stop the video. Uh, and as always, I hope you guys are enjoying the content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.